Hi guys, what's up? Oh, I found some great deals at Walmart. I want to share them with you. I'm actually going to review them and see, you know, how good they are. Excuse the mess that I look today, but this is reality. I'm getting ready to go out with my family. We're going to go have a fun day. I found these brushes at Walmart, and they are the Equate brushes. Um, I got all four of them. They did have a sponge, but I really, really like the Real Technique sponge, and um, it's only like $5 at Walmart, so, and theirs was like three something. Um, I would I probably will try it like here in the future, but I also don't have a problem with buying the sponge. I really like it, and I've never found one like it, so um, I've just stuck with it. I got the four brushes that they had on display. Don't know if there's any more. I'm, I was like really tempted to open these brushes, but I'll show you guys one by one. Start from smallest, and we'll go to the biggest. Um, the smallest is the Equate Beauty Highlighter Fan Brush, and this is what it looks like. Taking it out of the packaging. I mean, they look really nice like the packaging is very nice like make this fan brush I don't know why like I liked it I usually use fan brushes for my highlight but recently I haven't done it usually I've been using my sponge but it does have like more of a what is it called like stippling like thing up here it's like more like a stippling which is kind of weird it's not as thick but it is very like I feel like it blend it could blend like my contour very well. We'll figure out what to do with this. But this one was these were $3.98 except for the biggest one. The bigger one was the biggest one was like four. I don't know if they were $3.98. They were about four dollars. Don't know the cents. Um, but they're about four dollars for each one of the brushes, except this bigger one that I got. This one was like about five dollars. And then I got Excuse me. Then I got this Equate um, Kabuki flat kabuki brush and I thought this would be perfect for my foundation so I'm going to try it today for my foundation. Honestly it is like, isn't it pretty packaging? I feel like this is pretty packaging. This one feels so nice you guys. Like this one feels very nice for my foundation. I feel like this would do great for blending out my foundation. I know it's kind of nasty because I haven't washed them and I know everyone's going to be like, you didn't wash your brushes! But oh well. This one was also like about $4. I usually get the e.l.f. brushes, but the e.l.f. brushes fall apart so easily, but I won't be able to tell if these fall apart so easily because I need to wait like a few, you know, like a month or so to see if they fall apart because the e.l.f. brushes fall apart so easily and I hate it. They're really good brushes, but they just fall apart and I don't like it. So then I got this brush right here. This one is the multi-purpose brush, so you can use it for like your blood. Why is everyone trying to like make noises? And it's like a bronzy, I didn't show you guys this, but it has like more of a bronzy accent towards up here and then it has actually the name of the brush right here. And it's just like, they're so cute. I only have 15 minutes to record this video because my freaking camera's in the back seat. Then we have this super big brush, which is this is a large powder brush. I would use this more for like bronzing actually I might just use it for powder today I don't know maybe I can use it for like many different things um but this is a huge brush you guys like this is a big brush for five dollars like it's huge and it's so pretty I mean they seem sturdy just by like me messing with them but this is such oh my gosh this is such a big brush I love this I usually use this brush for my um powder so if you guys can see like this brush is huge and I got this in a collection so they're like um a what is it called I got this like in a bundle um, but it was expensive like the bundle was like $60 for like four brushes so this was not as expensive as that like you could get these whole brushes plus five I got all of these brushes for $17 which is pretty good honestly I feel like my priming and stuff but once I get to like the part where I'm gonna use the brushes um, I'll let you guys know if you guys want to know what I use I'll try to link it down in the description box but does that ever work not really um, so I'll try to put everything down below what I use guys so actually before I wanted to try this um, dry shampoo I haven't washed my hair in a few days because I whenever I strain my hair I don't like to wash it right away is like crooked for some reason. So it's a dry shampoo and it's instant hair refresh dry shampoo. I haven't washed my hair like I said in like three, four days. I don't even remember. Um, but this is a Batiste instant hair refresh. And I want to do this before I put my makeup on because I feel like if I put my makeup on, spray this, I just want to spray on my makeup. I don't know if it's going to ruin it. So um, let me put my hair down for y'all. It's really need help like in my roots area because like, it just looks so like oily. So it says back here to just like grab your hair like this. And then, oh gosh, that was crazy I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on but I have a lot of hair so it smells good it smells clean 
and I just sprayed it on my face. You see, if I would have had makeup on, it would have been bad. I'm just gonna, then it says to like massage it into your like roots. Tastes gross. Mm hmm. Tastes gross. This is the reality of it. It like left me a white cast right here. There's like spots where I just need to like spray a little more maybe. But the front of it looks good. You see that? We'll compare and contrast. I'll put like a before and an after. So it's like that did something, right? Did something to this crazy. <laughs> Greasy mess. So I'm gonna go in with the Kabuki brush first. This is the, the Kabuki brush. The foundation that I'll be using is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, the matte and poreless one, in a 238 rich tan. I'm just gonna dot this on my face, and then I'm just gonna go in with the brush and like blend it in. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna try stippling it first, and then I'm just gonna, gonna blend. Cause I usually just like to do like the circular motion or just like pull at it. I don't know if that makes sense, but Bring it out pretty nicely, guys. It's giving me really nice coverage. And it's not leaving any lines. Like the brush is so soft. It's so pretty. It is so soft. It feels so nice on my skin as well. But it like it's not leaving me any stripes, like marks at all. And it's blending like that blended out so well. And I still have foundation left on here. So that's pretty good. Cause sometimes I have to use a lot of foundation whenever I use like the beauty sponge. Because I mean like it takes up a lot of foundation. But like this gave me such a pretty layer. Like I have no streaks marks that i was using a different camera but it, i was using more like my professional camera but i want to get this video like up for you guys so i'm just gonna film on my vlogging camera my other camera is currently charging but we're gonna move on to concealer try like blending my concealer out with this brush as well use this for everything but i also feel like my concealer is way too light for me so i'm just gonna blend it out with the brush and hope it just kind of tones down um, this concealer because it's way too light for me, but it's one of my favorite ones to use So it's blending the concealer out pretty well like even with the sponge I do have a hard time blending out this concealer just because it's on my skin It's very drying so I even have like a hard time blending it out with a sponge, but this is blending out pretty good So usually whenever I use brushes to blend out my foundation and my concealer, everything ends up rubbing off on my nose just because I feel like the brush is too harsh on like whenever I'm like rubbing it into my skin. This brush is so soft that I didn't rub anything off on my nose. If you guys can see like it's still there. I'm loving this brush you guys, like loving. Like that is so good. I'm gonna use this brush, which is the multi-purpose brush. Um, it's just a smaller one, like this one. This one's just smaller. Um, I'm gonna use this brush to set underneath my eye. Okay guys, so I got my Airspun translucent powder. I like to you. I'm not using the translucent powder. I'm using the naturally neutral powder by Airspun. I'm just gonna grab a little bit on my brush and tap it in to my skin. You guys, these brushes are so, Nice, like wherever I place a powder, it's going and then to blend. I usually have to stick with my, um, with my sponge, but these brushes like that blend that out so nicely. Okay, this is such a great powder brush. 
I know this one might be good for like stamping, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab my loose face powder. I'm just gonna set everywhere else where I didn't put the concealer. Wow, that is so pretty. I did say I would like to use this brush to like bronze up my face. But I feel like it's a little too it's a little too thick because I like to use something more like airy. So for example, this is my favorite brush to bronze up with. This one's more like I don't know how, I really suck at explaining things. Like this one has less bristles. It's like less com compacted. This one's like has a lot more bristles, as you guys can like tell, and it's like a lot thicker. So I feel like this is good to like stamp on my powder. Like I just did because it's so thick. Like everything is kind of it just sets everything so much better. I wouldn't use this like for this reason. I would not use this brush to like set my powder just because it wouldn't stamp my powder on the way I want it. And I suck at explaining things, I'm sorry. I'm gonna move on to bronzer now. I use the Kat Von D shade in my palette and I use the shade in the middle. I'm actually gonna use this brush right here. You can just tell right off the back, it's just giving me, it's putting too much bronzer on my face. Like I'm pretty sure like, this is why I like to use these thicker, these like less denser ones, um, just because it doesn't apply so much to one spot. Like this was great to apply like underneath my eyes and stuff. It is still working. Like I still really do like the way it's turning out. It's just not, it's not what I prefer to. For highlight, I'm actually gonna use this brush right here, which is the fan brush. This is the Elf Heart highlighter, and I'm just gonna take both of these on the brush. It's gonna highlight with this brush. It did, I mean, I like it. I would use it for highlight, I guess. The brush that I used for my bronzer and to set, I'm also gonna apply my high, or my, I'm also gonna apply my, I'm also gonna apply my br blush. I cannot talk. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that blush. Um, I'm using this Dolce one in, I don't know what the name is, but it's like a really pretty peachy shade. I just love the way these like brushes blend out everything. Like that is so pretty. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna finish just the rest of my makeup and let my other camera charge just a little bit so I can come back and tell you guys just my final thoughts on the brushes. Okay guys, so this is the final look that I came up with. Um, nothing special, I just went with like a bolder. With a bolder eye and I put my bangs down but they're really bothering me. That little spray that I use, um, dry shampoo that I use, the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo actually works wonderfully. Like my hair is not like, you can't see anything like any like residue from this dry shampoo I really like the way it just makes my hair look like fr like fresh like it just makes me look like I just got out of the shower and blow dry my hair and straightened it um, and look how long my hair is getting guys and that crazy that's a thumbs up for that dry shampoo no money wasted there and then I have nothing but great things to say about these brushes it's honestly crazy how well they worked and I love them so I definitely do recommend them for you guys so if you have just started out making up. you're looking for some cheap brushes some beautiful brushes I think these brushes are great like I said I haven't washed them I haven't like worn them out for like first impressions they are so good the one that I wouldn't buy if I could go back and I wouldn't buy was 
the fan brush but I did just get all four of them because there was four um, I wouldn't get the fan brush it does it it's not my favorite thing in the world um, I don't usually even use fan brushes so I would just I would leave the fan brush out um, like I said if you have a sponge I like to just grab my sponge and kind of put my highlighter on with that um, I would just put that you know I wouldn't buy that one but these three brushes here are great so if you guys would like me to review the sponge the equate sponge um, I could definitely do that for you I would love to hear down in the comments what you guys would like to see um, like I said I'm sorry that my good camera died or my like professional camera died but I did just want to get it up for you guys so it just like my face is flawless today like it is so pretty it is so flawless so if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up i am gonna put some lipstick on it's just in the car i'm gonna put some lipstick on because i feel like putting it right on today but um if you guys like this video then definitely give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell down below thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll talk to you guys next time bye guys